let's move over to the Big Ten. Purdue, 24, Iowa 7, and the Boilermaker nightmare continues for the Hawkeyes. They are now 1-4 and four straight up in their last five against Jeff Brom's bunch. That, that stat blew my mind. That was wild. I didn't know that, by the way. When I picked, when I picked Iowa to win and cover eleven, I, I had no clue. Styles was, make fights, uh, man. Like it, sometimes you were. It, sometimes it's just a bad matchup for whatever reason. And and Purdue, as bad as they have been recently, they just have Iowa's number for whatever well, reason. Some of this is a you know. Remember when Jeff Brom first got there? I thought, man, that was one of the best hires in the country. I think that guy's an offensive genius. Yeah, and he's had a couple of games like this that were really special. And then he's just – it's just like when he's not having these games, man, he struggles to get anything out of his team. And it's just really strange because I love – when that team is on, I love Jeff Brom football. I love that style. I love everything about what he does as a coach. He has dealt with a lot of injuries and, and all that. We we thought we'd see a lot more of Rondell Moore. But we're talking over years, man. Yeah, no, this I agree. not this year. No, 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 no. Uh, his, his quarterback is – I will tell you this. This is the best defense that he has had there and it is not close. George Karloftis is an absolute beast. Here's the numbers on Aiden O'Connell, by the way, that vaunted Iowa defense let him throw 30 out of 40 for 375 yards and two touchdowns. And my brother, we have talked in the past about this wide receiver, David Bell, Bell 11 yeah. catches for 240 yards and two touchdowns. No, nobody nobody talks about this kid nearly enough. And we don't talk about this kid nearly enough. So yeah. that's on us. So we, we have a show, we have a platform, and we don't do it. He's special. He's he special. Is. He's been special for years. This is not a, a this is not a twenty twenty one thing. This guy's been special for a while, man. Uh, very much so. And he's he's not special in every game. I mean, my God, this team put up thirteen points on on Minnesota. Like they got beat at home in Illinois and, and Illinois, Illinois. And Minnesota. Like, <laughs> they had three Big Ten games in a row. I don't remember the third team, but none of them are impressive. Might have been Rutgers. None of them are very good. They scored th- thirteen points in three in all three games. Oh, one of and, no, one of them was uh, was Notre Dame. Tyrone said, "Will this help? Will this win help Notre Dame?" I don't, I don't, I don't know what this win means for Notre Dame. <laughs> I think Notre Dame just needs to keep winning. That's a, that's all I think. Because uh, Purdue is still not like a great football. Like, I mean, what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, well, it can't Iowa. hurt Notre Dame. It no, can't it can't hurt, hurt No, no, it can't hurt them. Absolutely not. But I don't know that it means anything for Notre Dame at this point. I mean, Purdue still got, like, what, three losses on the season? So, I don't know. No, what? they've only got two. I'm looking at them now. Minnesota and Notre Dame. Are those the only two losses? Those are the only two losses they got. I thought they Put had one early. Oh, head, they, beat, they beat Oregon State early in the year. Okay, yeah, they, they beat two. Oregon State. Week okay. one. Okay. They well, got a couple good wins now. Maybe that, yes, that helps Notre Dame. The the people shitting on Notre Dame for no ungodly reason is beyond me. I don't understand it. I just don't understand. Are we it. are we shit like? Did I shit? Yes, on Notre you Dame? shit on Notre Dame. Yes, you shit on Notre Dame. No, I'm just oh, saying yeah. I don't think that this game necessarily matters. It just depends on no, what Notre I, Dame does. I'm not talking forward. about what you just said. I'm talking about all year. <laughs> <laughs> not a very good football team. Not a very they good football been. team. Oh, they've lost. A, they've lost. They've lost one game. One yeah, game to a, yeah, one of the best teams in the country. Who's okay. probably going to be number two in the rankings this week? Yeah. So let's 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 be real careful about just shitting on them. Uh, okay, I'm good with that. <laughs> uh, we all knew that this was not sustainable for Iowa. The offense has not been good enough to to warrant a number two ranking, but the rankings are very much what it, what is it worth right like what have you done thus far this season who have you beaten and do you deserve a ranking right this is not a rating metric that the AP puts out there this is who deserves to be ranked this high and at this point in the season uh, before yesterday Iowa did deserve to be ranked number 2 in the country now Absolutely. you can go back and look at everything that they've done and realize that offense needs a whole lot of help from that defense. And when they cannot get turnovers or when the offense is turning the football over, it don't go well, right? Purdue is not a national title contender. Iowa also, I don't believe, is a national title contender. However, they still only have one loss. They still have everything in front of them, and the schedule sets up brilliantly for them the rest of the way. But they can get beat by anybody on this schedule if Spencer Petras throws four interceptions like he did yesterday. But right? any team can get beat if you throw yes. four interceptions. Yeah, and, and what's crazy is it wasn't the interceptions that led to the points for Purdue. 
It, Purdue went on long, sustained drives. They kept the football away from Iowa. Like It was a master class of offense by Jeff Brom and that bunch because they knew it was going to be tough to score on them, and they found all of the different things that would hurt Iowa. And it, it was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I was, uh, I was a little shocked at how one-sided the game was. I thought Purdue had a shot to win. I did not think that it would be like this. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.